are. Here we are. Hi and welcome to the vlog. Oh, this little madam has had a day. Oh my god. And I am actually fully expecting her to very soon go, I've had enough. I've been good. I've not complained. I've been through the ringer. I'm done. So I am fully expecting her to start shouting at me any minute. I know she's smiling and seeming quite really happy right now. I am going to give her some pain relief and I'm going to change her makeup, her, the cover for a chibi pad. <clears throat> and then I'm going to explain what she's been through today. And it's actually got to do with her Mickey button. So let me see if I can get this one in. Oh, I might need you lying down for this. Yeah, I might. I'll pick you up again in a second. This is, does not look comfortable. You do not look comfortable there. There we are. There we are. Good girl. Well done. Well done. Ooh. <clears throat> and I'm... I'm processing another vlog here on the side because, you know, multitasking. Where did the tube go? It's there. I've not attached it yet. Good. Let's attach it. Your new button is a bit tight. It is, isn't it? Oh. There. We've got it on. Hey, Luca. Are you coming to say hello? Could you feel Luca? We're going to scratch her. Mm. Oh, oh, scratches. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I got the cat. Oh, lovely. <coughs> okay, well, that's looking better than it was earlier. Ooh. Let's give this little girl some calpel and then lots and lots and lots of snuggles. Flushy, 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 flush, flushy, flush, flushy, flush, flushy, 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 flush, flushy, flushy, flush, good girl. Hi. 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 Right, so. A day in the life of a special needs child. A day in the life of a special needs mom. What happens? What goes on? Eileen was in respite care last night, so she had an overnight stay, and you did enjoy it, but apparently you didn't sleep very well. No, you didn't sleep very well. Were you and your friend up partying? Did you have a party? Yeah, you had a party all night. Because an Eileen party don't stop. There's no party like an Eileen party, because an Eileen party don't stop. Woo! Yeah, she did not have a settled night this time. So last time around, she apparently had a really, really good night and she slept through. Not last night. No, not last night. So she turned up at school quite tired and <coughs> had apparently been a bit sick on transport, but what's new? And I had, well, I'd had a child-free night. I got up early in the morning. I was doing my stuff, I was doing personal admin, I was doing studying, I had grand plans for recording and editing. <laughs> and then the phone rings. Now, usually when you get a phone call from school, it's, oh, hi, it's so-and-so from school. There's nothing to worry about. This time it was, oh, hi, it's so-and-so from school. Um... Okay, something's gone wrong, something's happened. Klaus wanted me to call and say that Eileen's Mickey button has come out and they're not allowed to put it back in again. Are you able to come in and do an emergency change? Yeah. Of course I am. Of course I am. Of course I'm not leaving my child without her Mickey button in place. And no way of getting food in and out of her and with a big gaping hole straight into her stomach. Like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so... I did not get the fully focused calm morning that I had planned. Instead, I was still in, like, not in pyjamas, but in, in, in sweats, in, in just 
house clothes. <laughs> had not had a wash, had not even brushed my hair, had not even brushed my teeth. And yeah, I, I sort of gargled some mouthwash as I ran past the bathroom um, on my way out to my bicycle and got on the bike and pedaled. <laughs> I got up to school fast. Very, very fast, didn't I? Yes. And uh, there I found you on one of the changing tables, getting cuddles and being talked to very kindly by your assistant who was ever so apologetic. So, but I mean, basically sometimes it does happen. Like it, get, it get, gets a bit caught on something. Maybe you stumble over it without realizing or it's caught on your arm when you're not realizing it and you pull it out. I have pulled it out three times in one day. That's my record, okay? Um, but she was, she felt so bad. She felt horrible. I was like, this happens. Really do not worry. It happens. I'm just grateful that I was able to get up here so quickly and we have a spare button and I can do it. Like, we'll, we'll sort this out. It's all about attitude, right? So I changed the button and we got, we actually got to sit like this for a bit, Ellen and I afterwards, because she's so patient with these things. She doesn't say a peep. But the side was bleeding a bit after that. So, you know, there's a small hole and we've pulled out a Mickey button with the water balloon intact. So you've obviously stretched skin. There will be some tears. It can't have been comfortable. Even if she doesn't say a pee, it must have hurt. So we sat and snuggled for a bit afterwards because I talk so much about this on Tova Red, my life coach, on the importance of co-regulating your central nervous system. When you... Excuse you. Cats are so graceful. They're so quiet. Luca. <laughs> um, yeah, you've been through something stressful in one way or another, in this case, stressful and painful. You need to co-regulate, to reset your central nervous system. Eileen definitely needs it. As a non-verbal child who can't tell us what's going on and explain to us what she's feeling and thinking like it's super important and to me that obviously you get that phone call from school you're like high alert <laughs> and then the speed with which I got up there on my bicycle like somebody said well why didn't you drive and I said because that wouldn't have been faster it was actually faster to cycle up Particularly now with all the roadworks going on, I would have been stuck, whereas on the bicycle I can just sweep through. Um, and then changing the button and checking that it's in the right place and that everything is good. Like, we need a bit of time to just do this and go, we are good. Mm, don't we? Yeah. And she's, like, you can see her response now. She's actually sitting here giggling. This is clearly very nice for her she's like yeah i like this i am calm i feel loved i feel safe i can have a giggle mm -hmm. yeah can't you can't you is this nice and i have a carer i hope should be turning up literally any minute i sincerely hope so I can crack on with some of the other stuff that I need to do today, because, um, yeah, I mean, I got home after that, <laughs> and I did, um, actually it took me a lot longer to get home than to get there, because I picked up all of her luggage from Rest by Care, so instead of cycling home, I was walking the bike home, balancing one of those enormous Ikea bags full of stuff. We do not travel light. No, we do not travel light, ever. Ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> yeah, so I got home and then... I can't even remember what I did. Wow, this actually illustrates my point so well. It's this, like, super calm and super efficient in a crisis. And then when the crisis is over, you're kind of going, oh. And I was talking to her learning support assistant about this. Because, like, when the button came out, she was like, Oh dear, button out, let's put the muslin on there, this uh, muslin, ne, ne, um, this cloth thing, let's just put that on there and stop the leak, let's call for somebody else to come and help me out, empty the balloon, we'll put the old button in and tape it down, 
So they're allowed to do all of that, they're just not allowed to fill the balloon back up again. So, yeah. <sighs> School, health and safety and bureaucracy. Um, they clearly know how to change a Mickey button. It's, it's as easy as that. You, <laughs> you pop it in and you fill the balloon up. Um, if you can empty the balloon, you can fill the balloon up. Never mind, I'm not here to argue about the processes and procedures of the school. Um, yeah, so super calm in the crisis, and then once the crisis is over, you're like, ah! and I'm doing exactly the same now. Uh, or I did exactly the same, like super calm, super efficient, until I came home afterwards, and I can't really remember what I did then. I really can't remember what I did. That's bizarre. Anyway, that didn't last very long because then I had to go back up to school and give Eileen lunch. And then I got home and then I had lunch and then I edited and that's what I'm processing at the moment so that it can be uploaded. And then, <coughs> cough, 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 I had to go up to school and pick Eileen up. So me going back and forth to school three times in a day is quite common because I go and drop her off and I go in and give her lunch and I go and pick her up. But today was supposed to only be twice because she got transport in from respite care. But then with the Mickey button emergency, it was still three times. So yeah, never easy, is it? It's never easy. It's never easy. No. Hi, love you. Yes, I do love you. Yes, I do love you. Oh, maybe I'm not getting a child shouting at me. Maybe I'm getting a really happy and content child. That'd be nice. How are we doing? We are almost done, which means that I can upload a vlog and post it. And then I can go cracking editing this vlog and post that. Is that a good idea? Is it a good idea? Yeah. Oh, my little munchkin. <coughs> and so what I'm hoping to get done when I have the carer here is laundry and washing up and dinner and a bit of tidying and editing a vlog for Tova Red My Life Coach. That's a bit ambitious for two hours. <laughs> it's very ambitious for two hours. Eileen's food is ready. I don't have to worry about her. I only need to worry about feeding me. And I did want to record another vlog for Tova Red My Life Coach. Uh, not on the laptop! Luca, get off my laptop! You horrible creature! I don't think she turned anything off this time. She's. Oh. Oi! Oi, cat! Meow! Do you want food? You want nummies? Num num nums? Arr. Luca wants nummy 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 sailing. She's not getting any right now, she can wait. It's too early. <coughs> Is there anything else we can say about today? Oh, I showered! That's what I did after I got... <laughs> I showered! I showered and I put on clean clothes and I did my hair and I did my makeup. See, I turned myself into an actual <laughs> functional adult. You don't need nice hair and makeup to be an actual functional adult, by the way. Just a little disclaimer. But... <laughs> It's what I do. I like my makeup. I like doing my hair. Oh my god. I'm so fed up with the roots now, but I'm getting those sorted tomorrow. Oh, I'm back to being the blonde Viking queen that I am. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, we are going to turn on some music, turn off the camera for a bit, and see if we actually do get anything else useful done today. <laughs> yes. Another one in the whole Mickey Button saga, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you again very soon. Bye.